Yeah. I'm here with Pat Bradley, who is Runco Training Director, and you also do training for ISF. And you're going to give us a little opinion, your ex it's gonna expert be my opinion, personal opinion, opinion, yeah, opinion, personal opinion. opinion. You're going to get your shirt and tie wet about the yeah. format war, HD, DVD, Blu-ray, is it over? Or like inside, you're still using the HD, DVD in, in, in the showroom here. Correct. Uh, Overall, there are individual exceptions, but overall, the HD DV discs on high performance equipment look better. There's various reasons for it, mostly, mostly around the encoding and the care taken on getting them made. Uh, it's in the software. I, I can't tolerate imperfections when I'm selling really high end good gear, so we use HD DVDs and titles that show off you know, really, really well. Uh, the last Microsoft su uh, supervised transfer is the Untouchables on HD DVD. It looks fantastic. It's the best film transfer I've ever seen. Ever. And last year I got to say that about Grand Prix yeah. on HD DVD. This one's better. Um, when Blu ray shows me results like that, I'm happy. That'll be great. Ratatouille looks very good on Blu ray, but it's a short list. Uh, and on the HD DVD, I can. Fairly confidently pick up and know it's going to look good. So maybe we'll have a sequel to this in the next six months when we get to see it, the the city and the U.S. and it may be all over or it may be back on. It may be all over. It may be back on. Certainly, Warner's decision is not helpful to the HD DVD camp. Um, but War Warner's rationale is that the window to make this successful is fairly narrow. Yeah, that's as the we, other as point. We, as we it's discussed before, more. there are alternate ways to get content. Well, our alternate ways is, is, is obviously the internet. We're, we're, sure. we're, we're streaming, downloading stuff. Right. Um, you're 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 an expert. You got an idea, and you got a you got a good perception of that by the U.S. market. Where there are a number of players that are already trying to do that, trying yep. trying yep. in good or better ways. Yeah. Maybe you can give our give us some insight okay. on what's going on and what you think it's going to it's going to Well, gonna we won't name any brands, but there's a, there's a number of services that are out there in the US market that are attempting to say, "Here, download this HD movie or, you know, we'll do it off offline effectively at low bit rate." And that's fine as long as they handle that data carefully and don't mess up, you know, don't screw up the encoding, you know, all the usual stuff. Uh, you can get, you know, HD da data rates out of that. We don't have anybody trying to deliver the quality of either of the of the disc-based stuff. The, bit, the data rates on those, which is effectively analog bandwidth, um, are very high, and nobody's trying to compete. It's just with not that economical rate. yet. They can't do it. Yeah, they can't do it. it. It just takes too long. Is it a problem of technology? Is it a problem of technology, or is it a problem of cost? Well, both. Band, both. Bandwidth is money. Yeah, it always has been. And oh, it's getting less and less and less but it's, to be sure. But it's still there's money. still a cost. Yeah, it's still a cost. But when we're streaming this to our viewers, it, there's a cost. There's a cost. Yeah. Uh, but our but our demands have gone up simultaneously. Uh, the first things we digitized were numbers, easy, small <laughs> files. You know, follow the money, simple They're stuff up, to do. Yeah, yeah. Then then we did word processors. Then music file sizes are getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Video was really late to the party in standard def because mm -hmm. the file sizes are huge. Yep. And when we get into this, oh, I want high def, or I want ultra high def, or you know, give me, give me, the, give me the next big thing, the file sizes just they they go like crazy, and you might have a server farm that you thought was big enough, and it's not we've even. Blown it's we've not blown even it close, a few, We've blown them a few times. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not even close. And as soon as you get a bunch of people trying to do it at the same time, then you've got to allocate people who yep, don't feel very happy because they get knocked out or it takes very... The whole system crashes. Well, it, cra well, it gets very long. It gets very or, slow, and yeah. all of a sudden there's yeah. no real time. That's the learning before. curve. That was like when we started. We started like nine years ago downloading. Yep, stuff. right. And, and now you've gotten to the point where you can stream fine, reduced found. definition yeah. without any problem. But no if problem. you were asked to do it in high def right now, you couldn't. But we're putting it in a box all the same. Yeah, because yeah, I, I do know, think I know the file is there, but you can't you can only, put it in the box. You can only all send the same. a subset of that file. Yeah, yeah. Right now. now, in a little window on your computer, that's often acceptable. On a two and a half meter wide screen, every wart shows. With our with our quality of gear. Yeah, that's you know, I go two and a half I magnify it up that big. If there's problems in the digital domain or the analog domain, I'm gonna see it. That's that's tough. Now, one of the advantages that this part of the world seems to have over my part of the world is you're building out high bandwidth backbones probably a little faster than we are. 
but we we effectively, as they describe it, we have to get to a total world internet two. Uh, we got fiber on level it's pretty much everywhere yeah, we're gonna, now. You know, so it's, it's, it's the world's going to have to be a yeah. lot of fiber, a lot of it, all yeah. the way to the end. <laughs> you know, not just hey, look, our city has fiber. We're going to send you copper. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's going to be all the way to the end user, and we're starting to see some of that even in the U.S. Uh, Verizon's got a nice project that that does that, but they don't offer full bandwidth on compressed high def on it because they still have restrictions. It still, you know, it still costs money. Um, so yeah, bandwidth bandwidth is quality, and if bandwidth's being restricted, the other thing we're fighting, um, which has happened to the music industry too, there's a continuum of convenience versus quality. Yep. and price versus quality, and where do those things intersect? iPods basically proved that, hey, we'll take low quality music as long as it's really convenient, really easy to use, and very, very portable. Well, now we'll you think get, it's okay. Well, now you get a 160 gigabit iPod, and you can actually put lossless on and there. You can so, put lossless on. So you're getting the better of both. Now you're getting the better of both. Better of both worlds. Button. Except it's a little expensive. The thing still, but yeah. but statistically, what do most people do with the sixty, you know, the eighty gig iPod? They don't put lossless on it. They put more compressed on. Well, it. come on, I, I've got I've got up. my hundred and sixty that, that I just got. I've got it half full. I got seven thousand songs on there, or eight thousand songs on there. Right. And I'm only halfway through it, so Great. there's going to be a but lot most of most people's lot of files are. They're not <laughs> clicking on lossless. They're doing you know I want be better better than one twenty eight. Yeah, I mean, what am I going to do with that many? I mean, yeah. I mean, but my point being, if you try to play that game with video, and Steve yeah. Jobs has said this himself, you know that video signal we're sending out for an iPod or an iPhone looks pretty good that big. Yeah, it doesn't even hold up, you know, bolting up to this big, let alone this big. Yeah, it just it doesn't. It's artifact laden junk. It's on you. It's not useful. Pat, so, this has been a pleasure as ever. We're looking forward to doing a sequel either back here in the UK for sure. a couple Next of months or, or in any case in the US. Again. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.